You know when it's a Saturday night in the middle of the summer? You've got friends over, kids are playing yard games, while the adults are sitting on the back patio with a cold one in the summer sun. That night, you'll be cooking this chicken for dinner. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick. We are indeed smoking up a whole bird today. We're putting some barbecue seasoning on it. This is gonna be delicious. So without further ado, let's just get right into our video. Step number one is we are going to trim our chicken. Get a really good pair of kitchen shears and this is gonna take you a couple good uh, clips to get through because you're cutting through bone. So it is a little bit difficult to cut. So the next thing that I like to do is trim off any excess skin around this opening right here. And then I like to come and see if I could find any excess fat. I think if you take a look right here, here. Just a little bit of fat around this this rim right here and just me personally I mean you can leave it on I'm sure it'll be fine But I just kind of like my openings to be really really nice and pretty so I think this looks perfect to me All right, so now we're gonna flip this bird upside down and we're gonna take a look at this opening This is the tail. The other thing was probably its neck. Uh, I'm just gonna come and take this thing off and now that I got that off I'm just gonna take any of this excess skin right here. I'm just gonna take and kind of trim it up. Let's get my shears that are honestly feeling kind of dull right now. I told you to get good shears, but I have bad ones. Now I'm coming back to the other side and I'm just gonna go ahead and tackle this piece of excess skin and fat. This really isn't any meat. Just gonna carve that off. And now if you guys see, we have a beautiful opening right here. You know, everything is uh, looking good. I'll rip that little piece of fat off, but this looks good to me now. Hi, my name's Mr. Chicken. And in today's video, I'm gonna get smoked. Was that funny guys? Do you think that was pretty funny? I have a chicken hand. I should have two of them. I should have made them fight. That'd have been really freaking funny. But all right, anyway, seriously, so getting back to the video guys normally what I would do at this point is I would pat this dry and then I would start to put my seasonings on it but I had a recommendation from my uncle Peter he said that you really need to rinse your chicken and then coat it with some kind of like lemon juice or lime juice so make sure you have your water at about like a medium to a low pace that way it doesn't splatter everywhere and we're just kind of washing this chicken and the reason we're doing this is because it comes uh, with a lot of solution on it from the factories wherever they process the stuff and we're just want to take and rinse off all of our chicken to get that solution off off. Make sure you get inside of here too. Kind of rip off some of those guts and all that gunk on the inside. Make sure you get your breasts real nice and good. Maybe massage them a little bit. All right, get your wings. Get them drumsticks and thighs. And this looks good to me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna transfer this over to my clean one. So what we're using today is we're just using a little bit of lemon juice and we're just gonna take and kind of you know rinse this over here and just rub it around on there. And apparently what this is supposed to do is it's just supposed to kind of help give it a nice fresh and clean taste. That way when you see Season it and you smoke it you're getting a really clean and fresh chicken taste but so I'm just gonna rub this chicken down now and then I'm gonna call this good right here let's get it over to our seasoning board and we'll do the next step so now that we have it rinsed and we coated it in our lemon juice we're gonna transfer it onto this tray right here make sure that you, you know let this drain out so all the water in the cavity gets out then we're gonna transfer it onto here and what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna take a sheet of paper towel and we're just gonna kind of pat this dry we don't want to take all of the moisture out because if we take all the moisture off and we go to season it, our rub won't stick. I just want this to not be a sloppy, wet mess. As you can see, it's still a little shiny, which means it has a little bit of moisture on it still. It's still a little wet. You know, the rub is going to stick to it just fine, but it's not sopping wet anymore. So now we're going to season our chicken. And before we get to this point, I just want to give you guys a reminder that you really want to make sure that you clean out your sink after you rinse off the chicken because the water hits the chicken and it's going to splash around. That's why I had no dishes in there other than the dirty chicken dishes that I use. Just a little public disclaimer i don't want anybody getting sick or anything like that so just want to throw that out there let's get to seasoning today i'm going to start out with this all-purpose seasoning all right so i'm going to start out by just kind of taking this wing right here and we're just going to be putting on a light little coat of this i don't want to go super super heavy just make sure you get down this guy's little armpit right here now i'm coming back over here to this drumstick you know get underneath there in that thigh come alongside of the breast now we're gonna get underneath that guy's little leg right there and, and get all over this drumstick shake some of this rub on the inside of the cavity now we're gonna season up the back side and i'm just gonna go ahead and get my seasoning on here and again i'm just doing kind of like a little bit of a light coat and i'm just trying to get this spread out evenly on here the next thing we're using is killer hogs barbecue rub now that we're going on to our barbecue rub this one we can kind of you know let layer on there a little bit thicker and season up season high up in the air it'll help you get a more of an even coat when it drops you season right over your chicken it's gonna you know leave a lot of clumps and we're gonna repeat the process like we did from the front i'm gonna go ahead and get this wing i'm gonna go ahead and get this drumstick and underneath right there 
All right, now let's come across our breasts. Look at that, that's a nice even coat of seasoning. All right, now we're gonna get this little drumstick right here. We're just gonna try to finish up the side of this breast. And as you guys can see, some of this rub kind of, you know, falls off when you start to flip it around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to, you know, fix it up. I'm gonna get the top of these breasts right here. And then I'm just gonna shake some into this cavity right here. And a lot went in there, so I'm just gonna try to spread it around a little bit and lay it onto the back. Make sure some, uh, you know, seasoning gets down in this cavity over here. Just gonna try to touch up a few of these areas. And we're gonna call this good. All right, so now that your chicken is seasoned, I'm just gonna let this hang out for a few minutes in the seasoning while I go outside and fire up my smoker. Today, we are gonna be using Bear Mountain Hickory Pellets. I absolutely love Bear Mountain. That's the brand that I use. Turn on your smoker, and today, like I said, we're going all the way up to 350 degrees. All right, so we're back out at our smoker, and we're just gonna get our chicken, and we're just gonna lay this little guy onto the smoker. All right, so my wife thought it didn't look pretty the way that it was, so, we're just gonna kinda try to sit this guy up here like this onto the smoker, and we're just gonna let this go for 45 minutes. And uh, if you think it looks prettier this way, let me know in the comments, because my wife needs a little bit of feedback too. So if you like, if you think it looks better this way or the other way, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll come back in 45 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the internal temperature of the breast, because the thigh, I'm not too worried about the thigh. The thigh needs to be like 175 plus. The breast is what's gonna dry out the fastest. So I really wanna make sure that we pull it when it's at 165 in the breast. So I'll see you guys in 45 minutes. All right, so we're here at our 45 minute mark. Let's go ahead, open up our pit and take a look. So this right here is what we're looking like at the 45 minute mark. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how we're doing. All right, so I'm just gonna get this into the thickest part right here of the chicken breast. And as you can see, we're at about 106 degrees, so we still got a ways to go. So at the 45 minute mark, we're at about 106 degrees. I still think this is probably gonna take about another 30, 45 minutes or so until it's completely done. But since I don't have a good probe, I'm gonna come out about every 15, 20 minutes, kind of check this until the point to when it's really close, and then I'll kind of gauge how often I come out and check it from that point forward. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, so we are here 20 minutes later. We've been officially about one hour and five minutes with this chicken on at 350 degrees. I'm gonna open it up and let's take a look. All right, so let's get this back in here and take a look at our internal temperature and see where we're at. All right, and as you can see, we're at about 126 degrees. So we're about, you know, 39, 40 degrees away. So I'm gonna let this go for about another 15 minutes. So since we're only between like 125 and 130. I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna say for probably about another 15, 20 minutes. And at that time, I actually decided that I'm gonna glaze this uh, like I would if I do like a chicken breast or like a chicken thigh. I'm just gonna take Sweet Baby Ray's, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, mix it together so it's a little thinner than a thick barbecue sauce. And I'll just paint it on at the very end. I'll probably do that around 155 degrees. So I'm gonna let this go to 155, glaze it, 165, I'm gonna pull it and then I'm gonna eat it because I'm fat and I like chicken. We just checked our chicken and it was only around 125, 130, so I figured this would be a good time to come in and make our glaze since we still got about another 20, 30 minutes until we need this. And I'm just gonna be dumping out about whatever I think is one cup, which is about half of this container. So I think this is about a good one cup of barbecue sauce. Then next, I'm gonna be dumping in what I think is about two, three tablespoons. The only reason I'm adding that in is just to thin it down. And instead of using just like water or something, I like to use apple cider vinegar because it gives it a nice tang, it gives it like a nice acidity that barbecue sauce has. It's not really ruining the flavor profile of it too much. You don't wanna to use too much of this, just a little bit. But as you can see, that really thins down the sauce a lot to more of a glaze consistency than it just being a, a very very thick barbecue sauce you want to heat this up in the microwave for like 30 seconds this needs to be lukewarm or warm do not put this on cold that's not good that's not going to react good with the heat remember it's a hot grill you want this to be warm all right so we're here back out at our smoker uh, this is the hour and 35 minute mark we're going to open this up and see what we're looking like so we're hitting 155 right where i want it to be i got pretty lucky Let's go ahead and shut this down and get our glaze on. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of take and dump some of this out onto here. And we're just gonna take and just glaze this on. I am the Bob Ross of barbecue. I gotta have a name. I gotta be known for something. So I'm painting on real nice. Open up that wing. Let's go ahead and get some of that there inside of that wing. Oh yeah, paint that up real nice. Drumsticks nice and painted up. Go ahead and get this wing over here too, nice and painted. Don't forget the armpits. You gotta get the armpits. 
All right, just make sure that you get this really nice and good. This is gonna add on a lot of flavor. This is gonna kind of caramelize onto your meat. And just for the sake of this video, I'm probably not honestly gonna flip this over and get the other side. I'm just gonna leave this like this. This chicken's really hot. I don't wanna mess up anything that I have going on. So I'm just gonna kind of paint this up a little bit more, make sure it's uh, lathered on really nice and good. And that's gonna be pretty good here. I'm really liking how this looks. So let's go ahead and get it shut down. So it's been about another 10 minutes. Let's open this up and see what we're doing. All right, so as you guys can see, we're right there at like 166. We went one, one degree over. Let's get it out. Whew. Oh, look at that chicken. That, that looks good. All right, guys, so we are back inside. We have our chicken here. It smells and looks absolutely ridiculous. And now I am ready to dig into this thing. So let's get started. All right, so this wing right here looks delicious to me. Look at that, I just ripped that, that wing off. Let's go ahead and take a bite. I'm ready, are you ready? Oh my gosh, holy crap, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. so good that I'm pissed. Since that wing was so good, I'm just gonna come in here like a man and just rip this off. It's really freaking hot, but see it's smoking, steaming hot, but. Dude, I'm gonna punch the camera, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so moist and tender. The smoke shines through literally perfect. The smoke flavor, perfect. This is just so tender. Just look at how tender and juicy this is. This is just so, look at that. It just shreds right apart. I mean, you can make pulled chicken with this if you really wanted to. And so you can just eat this all day long. For educational purposes, I will cut out a little bit of the white meat just to show you guys how I did there. As you guys can see, white meat is never gonna be uh, super moist and tender, but I think we did a pretty good job here. I mean, this feels very flaky when you squeeze it together. You can see those juices starting to come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Well, that's good stuff. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I have some family over. We're about to smash on this chicken. I'm so thankful for you guys that watch these videos. It really means a lot to me when you guys comment down below and let me know how these things turn out. So make sure you do that. I love hearing you guys' feedback. And if there's anything you think I can improve on, let me know. I'm young in the barbecue game. I'm not like a 30 year vet pro like some of the guys that I watch. So I might do things that maybe make a mistake every once in a while or not know the correct information. So if you guys know more than I do, feel free to comment down below and let me know. I'm humble, I'm and I'm willing to learn. My goal here is just to make the best barbecue that I possibly can and share my recipes with you guys. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, make this at your next cookout. So with all that being said, I hope you guys had a great day, night, or whatever time it is when you're watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Mm.